Happy Monday, family. Getting ready to go to the gym right now. Got a pull workout ahead, and it is my deload week. So not going to kill myself in this workout. Just going to be going uh, decently light. And what I've got, I just got a package in the mail, too, from Cellucor. And I figured I would open it up for you guys real quick and show you what I got. Now, by the way, if you guys ever want any Cellucor products, go click that link down in the description box below and then use discount code TREG at checkout. I am a brand affiliate, so um, you guys can get 25% off and free shipping if you use that discount code and that link down in the description box below. So uh, what I got here in the mail looks like a thing of alpha aminos. Um, I take a scoop of these every single day. And then I also got a thing of C450X, the watermelon flavor. Now I'm not going to be taking this today because I am deloading and I'm also, since I'm deloading, I am taking a week off from pre-workout. So I'll, sell, I'll still probably have a monster, but I'm not going to be taking a C4 or anything with like heavy stimulants. So cycling off of that for a week, that way um, I can give my body, my nervous system a little bit of a break because I do take pre-workout before every single one of my workouts, which I don't necessarily say is a problem, especially because a lot of times, um, maybe not C450X, but the regular C4, a scoop of that is pretty equivalent to maybe like a cup of coffee, um, caffeine wise. Now, beta alanine is a different story, but um, about to make up my pre-workout now. Well, not my pre-workout, just gonna have a monster and still take three capsules of NO3, but um, about to head to the gym, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So done with that workout and even though it was a deload day I feel I still feel like I got a really good workout in I had an awesome pump and I didn't even push myself whatsoever um, went really pretty lightweight on everything but still got a really good pump and I definitely think that is directly because of my increase in calories from this reverse diet adding in carbs has been huge for energy levels has been huge for pumps lately in the gym and I honestly have not even been pushing myself um, in the gym because of starting my deload yesterday so really excited for when I get back into the groove of really pushing myself and really being in a surplus not just in this reverse diet but actually being in my bulk um, which will probably be around next month sometime really being in that huge surplus I'm excited for the strength gains the muscle gains, everything that I'm gonna be able to do in this next bulk because I really wanna put on some size because next summer uh, I really have been thinking about it and I think it'd be cool even though I'm not always a huge fan of doing things for like a show or whatnot but I kinda of wanna push myself to that limit and see, see what I can do against others. Um, I'm always about competing against yourself, but I think it'd be cool to compete against others and see where my physique stands against other people on stage. So next summer, um, I'm thinking about possibly doing a show 
And if I do, I don't want to do it just to participate. I don't want to do it just uh, for the experience. I want to do it to win. I want to do it to place top five at least. So I'm going to have to put on some size to really be competitive, even though in my height class, I still feel like I would be able to bring a pretty powerful and pretty um, good physique. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing this next bulk. I guess you can almost call it an off season now because next summer will be in season. Uh, really trying to prep and get ready for a show, possibly. I mean, that's not 100%, but I'm definitely leaning towards doing that because I want to push myself against others and I think that would be a good way to do it. So um, that's just kind of what's on uh, the horizon in the next year, but about to head home now, get some food. I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, family, it is Tuesday afternoon, getting ready to go to the gym right now. I'm having myself a monster, going to be hitting legs, fully fasted today, answering some emails right now, and also doing a little bit of work for myself, uh, figuring out my maintenance level of calories because I'm starting up maintenance level pretty soon. As you guys know, I am reverse dieting, so taking it step by step, working towards uh, my bulk, which I will be in in a couple more weeks, but uh, maintenance level starts in just a few days, so figuring out those calories, figuring out those macros. And what I came out to, I can just tell you guys real quick, um, my calorie total for my maintenance is gonna be right around, um, it's a little below 3,000, so exactly it's gonna be 2,970 is what I'm gonna be aiming for each and every day. Then breaking down the macros, carbs, I'm gonna be at 403, so a little bit above 400, which is going to be fantastic because I have been on some low carbs for a long time. Protein is going to be at 187.5, so I'll just hit 188 each day, and then fat is at 67.5, so I'll probably hit 67 each day. Then fiber is 30 to 38. Now fiber is very important. You guys definitely want to make sure you guys are still getting your fiber, getting your mac micronutrients in, because those are just as important as your macros. You still want to be making sure that uh, your body is healthy, and those micronutrients are going to be what uh, fuel your body and really kind of give you those nutrients that your body is craving. So um, it's not always just about ma uh, macros. You gotta make sure you're hitting your micros as well. But um, I figured I would tell you guys what my macros are gonna be when I start hitting maintenance, when I update it to um, my next step, and then when I hit bulking calories, I'll also update you guys there. But about to hit the, head to the gym and hit legs now. Um, today is still, it is still my deload week, so going to be kind of, I wouldn't say a boring workout, but it's not going to be as fun, not going to be as exciting as trying to uh, hit some really heavy squats or different things like that. But I'll see you guys in the next clip at the gym. Alright guys, so making my post-workout meal right now, what I have is 20 servings of the egg beater. So basically just the, sorry about the lighting, um, basically just the entire container right here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, the entire container is 20 servings. So um, having that with three servings of the Deli Fresh Honey Ham, and then also going to have uh, two slices of cheese in there as well. And what I'm going to do is actually, when I get done, I'm going to pour all of it into a bowl and then sp uh, split it up into, I'm gonna eat two thirds of it now and then a third of it either tonight before I go to bed or tomorrow for my first meal. So this screen is not focusing right now. Oh, I think I touched it actually, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have right now for my post-workout meal. Um, eat this. I think I'm gonna head to the fair tonight, so my next meal will probably be really fatty, <laughs> really calorically dense. Um, I might show you guys what I eat in the next clip, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. 